Scorpio, a Scorpio seeker. Welcome to the existential shift. Welcome back if you're familiar. Welcome anew if you're new. My name is Morgane. And I'm excited to do your reading. Venus in Libra season, and this Libra season is about to retrograde into you. I think it's going to be fun. I know people are like, oh no, Venus retrograding in Scorpio. It's going to be scary and all the demons and confusion and she's not comfortable in Scorpio. She's very comfortable in Scorpio. Goddess of love. She's intense. Yes, she's also the harmony on the surface. But hey, what is harmony on the surface if the root of the creation, of the feeling is not there? If that is rotten, then what's on the surface, even if temporarily allegedly pretty, it's not going to last. I think the whole thing of Venus retrograding in Scorpio is to make sure that the beauty is really beauty. The essence. That the love is true from the depths of our heart. And not just, oh, I want to love this person because this is the the pretty checklist this is how this is the person i want to love this is the kind of relationship i think i should have venus retrograding the scorpio is be like mm, is this real is this passionate is this you and if illusions come along if situations that aren't long term pop up it's part of the realness yeah it feels like maybe illusion or fake because it's made it might not last but it comes to stir the real depths in you in us scorpio is deep scorpio is intense scorpio is real whether we like it or not life and death black and white all in all in venom and medicine Things that are fake will not last. And if something comes in and then ends, so you thought it was it's going to be real and then it ended up not it will end up not being real, it helped you know what you really feel, what you really want. Maybe you're going to receive something that is your checklist, that is on the surface everything you ever wanted, and then you'll realize that your heart is not aligned with it. And you're like, wait, maybe it's not what I truly always wanted. Maybe it's just what my brain thought I always wanted. I called the cancer, the first video that I just posted, um, know thyself, know thy dream. I'm sorry. Venus retrograding in Scorpio will help you really know how you really feel, what you really want, what truly makes you happy and what truly makes you miserable. And it might surprise you. Sorry, I have to fix my hair here. Something here that bugs me. Oh, I don't have a pen. Whatever. Okay. Hey, Venus is in the house. I have to look the part. I'm excited. Venus retrograding in Scorpio is also super sexy. Super intense. Super deep. It's, it's the Venus that... You know, there's the Venus that goes to a ball and she looks great. She has her gown and her makeup and her hair is perfect. And she's just Miss Perfect. She looks the part and everybody admires her because she speaks to everyone in the room. Her beauty is international. And then there's the Venus that retrogrades in Scorpio and she turns bad. She's the Lilith. She's like, I'm going to dress the way I want and it's something that makes me feel amazing some people in the room might feel uncomfortable some people in the room might not like all this feminine power that I'm bringing with Venus retrograding in Scorpio she's not a feminist but she's a goddess we know Venus and Venus and Aphrodite are goddesses yes but this is the goddess that doesn't give any answers to Zeus or Odin. Doesn't give any answers. She doesn't try to look the part. Or to play.
play the part. This is going to be fun, Scorpio. Everybody, all seekers, if someone else is watching, because this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <laughs> I wonder how it will affect, because I'm not a professional astrologer. My astrology is from general knowledge and from deep intuition. I just, I know things, right? I understand energies. I connect the dots. I know, I don't need to read astrological map to tell me the energies of the planets. I, I feel the planets. I feel Venus. I feel Mars. I feel Jupiter. I feel, I feel the planets. I just know them without knowing them. The cognitive knowledge came after from reading a lot of books, but anyway. So, let's start. October for Scorpios. By the way, special month, we will reach the 10,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Um, and know that there are more videos of me. <laughs> um, and in honors of that, I'm doing special prizes for my private session. So private readings, information below. And there will be a live Q&A with me. So you can talk to me. Uh, and ask me questions about spirituality, about energy work, and all that jazz on October 10th. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And I don't know what time it is exactly is going to be, but I'm going to pin it to the comments to all the videos um, probably by October 10th. So stay tuned. All right, I'm mixing the cards. I'm, another part of my brain is focusing on asking for messages for Scorpio for the month of October. I'm just using the opportunity to talk to you guys. Um, what else can I say while, while the cards, before the cards pop up? Oh, okay. Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on, Scorpio? You fixed, Scorpio. Okay. I got this in reverse. I got Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Six of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Holding on to a vision... that now just feels, how should I say it? You understand how a certain vision or a goal that you had that you're still holding on to has really made you feel, okay? It was meant to make you feel this, but now it might make you feel this, okay? Six of Wands is victory, is achievement, is being in your place, is, um, fighting off, uh, winning the battlefield and being admired and being the leader of the pack and feeling really satisfied and honored and victorious. Mission accomplished kind of thing. And this is like, we're not feeling it. Hmm? And that's very much Venus retrograding in Scorpio. It, it, all the planetary aspects right now is like, the energy is like, how do you really feel? What do you really want? Is this where you want to be? Is this what you want to do? We're all being asked the same questions. And the thing is, we can't lie to ourselves anymore because the heart is is, is, is getting rigored. Okay? doesn't matter if you're in a, a scenario where allegedly you're supposed to be really happy. If you're not happy, you're not happy. If you're lonely, then you really want to snap out of that loneliness. Right? You're like, wait, but I'm feeling lonely. I need now to snap out of it. If you're miserable, nine of swords, and you're anxious, and you're worried, and you're sleepless, now you really want to snap out of it. It's like there's this urge in the next month in October to just snap out of feeling not complete and not feeling victorious, but still holding on to it just because we're a little bit stubborn, Scorpio, fixed sign. I know I'm a Taurus. I admit, you know, knowing makes us feel safe, makes us feel in control. And four of pentacles wants to hold on to what they know, to what they have, to what they've always had because of they, they're afraid. What if I let go of this? What will I have then? But look at how we're feeling. Six of wands in reverse. Some of you are willing to take a loss in order to snap out of the feeling lonely and anxious. Maybe something, a goal that has made you be in this situation for a really long time of having to be really patient and lonely and taking a path of 
not much fulfillment you're not happy and it was always worth it for some reason but now you're thinking maybe it's not worth it maybe it's not leading me to where i want to be led to i don't know i'm supposed to feel like people are around me and cheering for me but i'm only feeling alone this is someone in the room full of people that's supposed to be happy but feels alone and october be like no no we can't feel that anymore Better be alone in the room, actually alone in the room, than in a room full of people and feeling alone. Things have to be real now. Things have to be real now. Nice. Oh, I love this. Okay. The Hangman, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. From very serious energy... To serious energy nonetheless, but less painful, okay? To a more lighthearted energy that is more flowing, okay? This is very rigid, really learning, like, what, why am I holding it like this? <laughs> this is a lot of spiritual growth from pain and from sacrifice. It's Odin that hung himself from the Yggdrasil for 12 uh, days and nights to learn the secrets of the runes. Uh, in the extended, by the way, I will have messages for you guys from the runes. I'll tell you about the extended soon. If you're a newcomer, I'll tell you how it works. Um, but this is very also very knowledgeable. This is um, the um, the pupil and the teacher, right? The initiated and the initiator. This is very much the teacher, the guide. Now, this is the structured truth. Okay, this is the structured truth. Not so much as this one, but definitely this one in, the, in, in this combination of like, okay, what is my truth and what do I need to do in order to maintain that truth? What is the behavior? What is the structure? What is the path? What is the uh, actions? What kind of a job I need to have? What kind of a place I need to live in in order to fulfill that? Can you listen to these dogs barking? A lot of back noises. Scorpio, do you feel like you have a lot of back noises not allowing you to hear what's really in there? To really focus? Do you feel like you just want to go within to discover your truth? Because maybe right now you're living a certain truth that you thought was yours, but maybe it's not. It feels more painful than it does victorious. And you're following the dogma of the truth that you've always had. But I feel like you're breaking out of this in October. To a different type of truth, to a truth of the heart that is more of a flowing heart, that is not a checklist type of heart. That is just flat out what makes me happy. I wake up in the morning, am I smiling? I wake up in the morning, am I not smiling? If you wake up in the morning and you're not smiling, if you go to sleep and you're not smiling, and there's only anxious and worried, then you're not on your path. You're not in your calling. Because when you're on your calling, it doesn't matter how much hard work you have to do. How much things you need to handle how many things you need to handle there's still joy that comes with it if the joy is lacking then you're not on your path and this feels a little bit more flow okay we're discover discovering our actual truth now what do we need to go what do we need to do to get there this can be behavioral it doesn't have to be a massive shift in your actual life although many people are going through that but okay Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands. <clears throat> okay. Someone might be feeling like other people need to fight for her heart. See this queen? She sits here all comfortable in her power. She's a powerhouse. All like, I'm the queen. And all of these individuals are kind of battling themselves. So this could be you watching people, watching the back noises, listening to the back noises around you, being like, mm, no, I'm finding my ground, I'm finding my space, I'm finding my peace, I'm finding my place, I'm not letting this nag me. Or this is literally someone who has a few suitors fighting for her heart or for his heart. There's a certain need to 
Okay, so we started with the Six of Wands in reverse, and now we're going back to the Five of Wands. But this is good, because this was a false victory. It's not like we went from this to this, right? We went from this, a false victory or a loss, to having to go back to the battlefield and rearrange the plan. Okay, how do I get there now? And this, going back to it now, going back to the battlefield, going back to the planning board, will lead to actual stability. Because these are very different cards. This is conflict, battle, and um, disharmony. And this is stability, serenity, um, being in your ground, being in your place. I want to do this. I want to take this and put them next to. Okay. Now when you look at the, the uh, at it, sorry. Da, da, da. Now when you look at it this way. You see something here? Someone needs to break through their dogma of what is their truth, what is their happiness, and flow differently. And yeah, it might cause disharmony and inner conflict, maybe a little bit of a confrontation with others in order to reach this now this could be you both the same the same person having to listen to their heart and flow and yeah it will require a little bit of a struggle to get to this to an actual sense of, of serenity and belonging or someone is breaking through their dogma of what they thought made them happy and now they're going for a different partner or a different job or a different location or a different way of anything and it requires going through a certain battle, struggle, handling, disharmony. Sometimes you have to fight for peace. And the Five of Wands is not a regular type of battle. It's, it's going about things differently, which is why I keep saying the different mechanism, the different type, breaking through the dogma of what it is that you're supposed to be doing that's supposed to make you happy. It's looking at things differently, taking a different approach. If normally you would battle off a disease going through uh, going to uh, Western medicine, maybe now you should take a different approach, like an alternative type of medicine, right? Or the opposite, if you're always in, if you're always like in the alternative, and now you need to approach things from the more structured way, you know, think differently than what you're used to. Um, Hierophant and Queen of Pentacles. Strong Earth sign, strong Taurus. I have a Virgo in the reverse here. Oh, nice. Okay. No, this is funny. You didn't see it, but these two fell right on her. Two kings fell on this queen. Now, there's the archetypical king that matches this queen. King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. And then there's the King of Cups. So, someone is popular by two options but there's one but here's the thing even though this one allegedly really resonates with this one yeah to the king and queen of the pentacle this king of cups the water feeds and nourishes the earth so this is not a bad option either it feels like some of you might have two good options that you'll have to oh and here okay this is the the knight of cups becoming a king of cups because he went through a certain battle struggle to prove themselves to prove themselves to this queen of uh, pentacles and now uh, this fellow here has these two fellas now i don't know if you are one of these two that need to compete for this queen or if you're this queen the two are competing for you but either way party venus retrograding the answer listen to your heart where do you feel most passionate and excited and happy and fulfilled huh scorpio some of you need to break up with someone in order to be with someone else or someone else need to break up with someone to be with you because look at it how it looks and you know breakups and hookups are going to be a real thing throughout october See here? Someone is struggling, battling to prove themselves to her, a, a, a water sign. And here he is, a water 
um, king next to her, but then he's in between the king of pentacles who matches her with vibration. Now, she's like all cool, be like, yeah, fight over me. She earned it. Look at her. The Taurus here is very strong. There is also Cancer, Capricorn. The Earth element here is strong. The Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Earth here is very, very, very present, but also water. Oh, I have your Pisces. I have your um, the Hangman, the King, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups. Also three waters. Interesting. So the Earth and the water elements are very, very meaningful for you if we're talking partnership. And this is good because earth feeds earth, water feeds water, mostly water feeds earth and vice versa. So the conversation makes sense. We'll delve into this um, little story in the extended. We'll look at these, um, what's the word, um, court cards. Someone here does not want to overthink, does not want to battle. You guys figure it out. May the best man or the best woman win. Seriously, someone here is just like wants serenity and peace. Um, and someone else needs to do the work. And, you know, we all are in our, um, we all are going through our journey. Sometimes we need to be in, ser in serenity. Sometimes we need to be in battle mode. Play, play the part, you know. Whatever it is that you're supposed to do to get there, play the part. The hangman talks about playing the part, changing perspective, knowing what it is that you need to do and how you shift yourself, shift your consciousness and your behavior patterns in order to match your um, goal and what it, what the place you want to be at. Okay, If you want to get a promotion, then you need to play the part. You need to be the perfect employee. right? If you want to advance in school, then you need to be the perfect student, whether you wake up in the morning feeling like it or not. You just need to do it. It's a sacrifice for the greater goal. There's a very big learning process here. Some of you might be might have been studying something and now you're not sure it's the type of studying that you want to do. If this, listen to your gut, listen to your heart. Take that next this next month and mid-November to really listen to how you feel and then make decisions. Oh, look at who's hiding right underneath the king of swords three kings I, I have to put in here i mean come on and then two of pentacles to show the dilemma three kings and one queen <laughs> hey may the best man win right it's also a matter of location some of these individuals might be in different locations and you're thinking should I pursue love and decide where to be in accordance? Or maybe other other options are coming to you. Someone, you thought you only have one or two options, but then someone came from afar, from a distance, from a different place and kind of took you by surprise. All of them, very, very um, fascinating, interesting individuals that are masters of their own element in their life. Successful, um, strong, this one is very analytical. This one is very work and finance oriented. And this is very emotional. Emotional maturity. Earthly maturity. Cognitive maturity. If I find if I have one more king here that and still I only have one queen, then I know that this queen has found someone who is all of these individuals in one. Right? Someone who has mastered all the elements. And then I will I would expect to see the magician, but okay. The world, if not the magician, then the world. Yes, completion. Okay, so some of you are really mastering all kinds of elements. You've mastered the water element, the earth element, the air element. Only thing that is missing here is the, is the uh, fire element that is in question because we have the six of wands, the six of fire in reverse, and the five of fire, the five of wands um, upright, but it's this heart in disharmony, right? It's not a harmonious card. It's not, there's no mastering of the fire element in here whatsoever. So maybe to find completion, there's a need to master the fire element, which is uh, the passion, the will, the gut feeling, the, intu the, the, um, the instincts. 
Okay, the world with the two of pentacles could be someone from abroad. Either you're going somewhere or someone um, comes into your life or is already in your life from a different uh, country, a different continent, a different culture, a different city, a different whatnot. I want to I wanna look at this for a second. Give me a second, please. Okay, this is Libra, October. This could be some of you are planning a trip during November or an adventure during Oct October. I'm sorry, during October that's supposed to kind of uh, come full circle, help you finish a cycle, finding balance between your different forces because this is very much the yin and the yang and trying to find balance. And the Libra is all about balance between the uh, forces. And the world has all the elements in it with balance. See, it has all the seasons. Um, it also has all the fixed signs. We have Scorpio, we have Taurus, we have Leo, and we have Aquarius. You know, the sky, the, the planets are like really adjusting themselves and, your, and the elements in you to really find your new self that is not new, but what you, you know, the potential of you, the, what you were always supposed to be. And maybe you were a little bit off track thinking one thing is supposed to satisfy you and now you're like, hmm, I think I now understand who I am. What I want to do. But what is it? How do I really get there? Okay, so this is the journey to get there. And it's okay. Once you realize you're not on a certain track and you put yourself with your heart, using your heart on that track, even if it requires a little bit of struggle, a little bit of competition, it's okay. Cardinal, 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 fixed. Fixed. Yeah, it's it's hard to push through in a different direction than what you were always you know really fixated on because you can be you can lead right you can be cardinal with what you are very certain of scorpio right but what if you're no longer necessarily certain and now you need to lead in a, in a direction that is different than what you thought that's a challenge for you scorpio but it's a good challenge it's going to really elevate you to a lot of strong forces in you, the force of the air, the force of the earth, the force, the force of the water, the emotion, the, the 3D, the practicality, the thought, the spirit, the spiritual. Mm. Scorpio, you're working too hard, you're feeling too much, you need to just let go and be, I'm sorry, you're working too hard and you're thinking too much. You need to really let go and feel. You have to let go and feel, Scorpio. You want to find that sweet spot, the who I am in the world. It comes through the fire in you, the passion, the creativity, that spark. Love, romance, sex, yes. If you found yourself a little bit working too hard, planning too much, Find a lover, seriously. No better season than Venus and Scorpio for it. Seriously. Oh, there we go, the strength card. That's one hell of a fire. If we're going fire, we're going for the best. Strength card. This is strong creation through fire. This is, the strength is about um, having our boundaries of, you know, the, the boundaries of the, the mechanism, right? The, the protection mechanism, the denial mechanism, all the mechanisms that us humans have in order to survive in this world because a world without boundaries is a scary world. We can't handle everything that is out there. We can't handle this universe. I'm telling you guys, seriously. I had a night of um, ayahuasca, which is a very healing, which is a healing medicine. And I saw the world as it is. Threads of energy. There were no boundaries. The walls were not walls. The 
lids were not lids, the clothes were not clothes, the body was not a body. It was all just threads of light, molecules. Everything was the same and everything was endless. And there was no separation. And I was like, okay, I saw it. I get it. Can I get back my walls, please? Can I, can I get back separation? We need those walls. They protect us because we're baby souls. We think we're so advanced because we've been around for, I don't know how many lifetimes. We're like in this incubator, baby soul in a womb. Gaia planet is like a womb. And we, we will end up growing into being really expanding and being a part of this creation of this endless, you know, this infinite light of divine God, whatever. We need those walls. And this card speaks of those walls. And what happens when they break down, how we feel and know everything, but we're also super sensitive to everything, aka we need to develop spiritual strength of our energy, of our spirit, of the soul to be able to handle all this infinity. You want to handle all this universe, all this infinity? You need those walls. You want to appreciate those walls? You need to break through those walls, okay? So in order for you to have these walls to protect you and be a part of the infinite potential that you in this lifetime can have Scorpio as a human. You need to break through them, see the intensity of everything, understand that it is way above your head, have a little bit of knowledge, know a little bit, and then go back to that structure, to that mechanism, to that matrix, to those walls, because we're humans, we're, we can't handle all that. And work our way in this lifetime, in this reality. Work through it to the best place we can get to okay to to break the boundaries you need to know the boundaries to know the boundaries you need to know what's beyond the boundaries so it's kind of i know i don't know if i understood myself i don't know if you understood i'm sorry if it sounded a little bit all over the place but once you understand these boundaries the, that mechanism and once you understand that they're not against you they're for you and you know how to work with them when to bring them up when to bring them down when to be intuitive and sensitive and uh and and have empathy to everything around you and feel everything and when to bring the, those walls back up in order to protect yourself and keep operating in the, in the 3D world, in the mundane world as a human. Once you have that, you've mastered everything. And mastering that comes through the fire in you. Okay, so we get it. You mastered the water. You mastered the earth. You mastered the air. Great. Master the fire, but not from outside of you. Not by being too, too active but by really feeling your gut and tapping into your root chakra and your solar plexus. Find a lover. I don't mean like if you're married, find someone outside of your marriage. I already feel the comments. Guys, I mean, give me some credit. I mean, well, I mean, find someone that you're passionate towards, that is passionate towards you. That's what I mean. Moses, do not. Oh, whatever. Everybody, I love everybody. Okay. All right. Um, something tangible for October, you're asking? Okay. Let's conclude. And then I'll show you your uh, extended, and that will be tangible. Because the extended is going to be fun. Okay. Um, let's conclude October for Scorpio. Let's get an outcome result Scorpio by the way we're gonna get messages from the Akashic Tarot the Akashic Records speaking of no boundaries and knowing everything there is to know about our existence Whew. those are intense and beautiful stay tuned we're gonna do this right after this I'm gonna conclude and then I'm gonna show you your extended and then I'm gonna have messages from the Akashic uh, Tarot let's um October for my lovely sport. Oh, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Okay. <laughs> this sucks. I'm sorry. Five of Pentacles. Yes. Um, for those of you, it's not going to relate to everybody, but for those of you who feel like they're, um, they have to leave a place or be left out or have someone leave, it's because... We start with the Four of Pentacles, we end with the Five of Pentacles. It's because you didn't listen to my advice, Scorpio. 
you kept fixating on something that isn't good for you because you feel threatened of what else might be out there in the world beyond the walls. Makes me think of Game of Thrones. Huh? Um, and then universe be like, okay, enough, enough, enough. Let's let's break this shit down. It's not exactly the tower. It's not exactly a tower moment because the tower comes from the outside and can be a surprise. This is something that we we did to ourselves. This is something like that we we insisted on something that wasn't good for us instead of moving on, and then it ended up exploding in our face and being really bad. So leave so you won't be forced out. Um, Ask someone nicely so it won't, when you're already feeling that it's not really working and so you won't have to go, go to the point where you're really, really mad. Um, talk to your boss in a calm way and telling them, telling them how you feel and what you need now to keep working instead of snapping out of nowhere and like lose your job. Do things because you're feeling, you're feeling your fire and you're listening to your instincts and you're listening to your gut. Don't wait for things to reach culmination, a negative culmination, and handle them now. Okay? All right. Let's look at your extended. So what I do in the extended is I take the, um, the numerological aspect of the reading and the element aspect of the reading, repetitions as well, and I re-read re, re the cards um, and wait one second I give a different narrative an added narrative and I speak about the connection between the numbers and the elements and then I clean the table and have a brand new shuffle and I um, a brand new shuffle I'm sorry, what was I saying? Oh, and then I do a Celtic Cross. A Celtic Cross is a completely different reading. It's a completely different reading. might bring a completely different narrative. Um, so we're going further and deeper and wider and different and same at the same time. <laughs> oh, these are all... Yeah, let's leave this one here. Um, at the same time, and it's awesome and then we conclude with runes okay so okay so this is your extended the start of your extended we have the hermit the hangman the hierophant the strength and the world let's let's do it chronologically because we care about the numbers so we have 5 8 9 12 21 this five will connect to these two fives as well because i have five of pentacles and five of wands and the hierophant is five and here I have the court cards first part of your extended second part a Celtic cross third part the runes and now let's go to the uh, messages from the Akashic Tarot okay. I really 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 like this oracle like first of all look how beautiful they are and they're just so intense and accurate messages for Scorpio Sun Moon rising Venus uh, for the month of October guys I really recommend to watch your other placements to get a full picture um, watch your extended link below to your extended speaking of I was just saying what's gonna happen link below to your extended link below to tarot masterclass if you want to learn tarot for me uh, also my email and information about my uh, my special discounted prices for the month of October. Um, all information in the information box um, and explanations. And oh, live Q&A on October 10th. Ask me about energy, ask me about spirituality, ask me about tarot, ask me about magic. Ask me, ask me, ask me, and I'll see what I can give you. I'm really excited to get to know you guys. I am. Um, okay. Scorpio from the Akashic Records. Message for Scorpio from the Akashic Records. Oh, also go back to your September general readings and extend it if you can, because that's how we learn. Not by just knowing or thinking what will be, but going back to see the energies and the advice that was given for this month after effect. 
and making the connections and the uh, conclusions. So I really recommend going back to your September readings, guys. Okay, I think I said it all. Akashic Records, please. Message for my Scorpio secret. That's accurate. Never message for my Scorpio secret. Okay. Hmm. I have two. Five of Scrolls, Diversity. And the Queen of Forces. Oh my God. Wow, they're so pretty. Five of Scrolls, Diversity, and the Queen of Forces. I feel like it connects to the Queen of Pentacles here that has all these kings around her. Uh, she mastered all the elements in her, and now she's uh, drawing uh, to her life different type, different individuals that represent those elements. This could go vice versa. You're a guy and you're drawing. Uh, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be like situations, like you've mastered so many elements, and now... Things that represent that are drawn into your life. Okay, let's read. Let's start with the Five of Scrolls with the diversity, and then we'll go to the Queen of Forces. It's not too long, don't worry. Okay, Five of Scrolls. Upright. A woman stands on a veranda overlooking a beautiful valley dotted with little towns on the hills and along the river. Scrolls that she has read lie upon a nearby table. Another scroll is held loosely in her hand while the woman surveys all that she sees. With this card, you'll find that it's time its time to diversity. Ah! Did I not tell you, Scorpio, you need to not be fixed and go diverse? There are many options for you to consider, and you should take a look at them all. Allow yourself to try new things, go to new places, learn new subjects, break out into different directions, and meet new people too. Don't worry about scattering your energy too thin. You're in a period of expansion, and expansion, so use it. Let yourself go farther, af farther afield than you planned. In the end, you will diversity in you will diversity in ways that introduce you to a whole new you. Awesome, Scorpio! I really like this, and it really resonates perfectly with our reading. Yay! Okay, Queen of Forces. Uh, I think I'm in love with this card. I'm like, she like she rules the sun and she rules the moon, the heavens and the earth, the day and the and, and the night. Okay, great. Let's see what's up. Queen of Forces. Okay, here we are. This card shows a woman balancing the energies of a sun in one hand and a moon in the other hand, yeah, yeah. with a river flowing beneath her feet. The Queen of Forces represents a woman who can help to bring greater balance to your life. She brings an unusual combination of power and peace, creativity and receptivity in both her energy and her support. Sometimes this card can represent a person in your life, either you or another, coming into a phase of great power and a and an ability to sustain it with wonderful results. There is a gift of grace and serene understanding when this card is upright. It also brings new roles and opportunities, careers in many of the sciences. Global communication, nature and energy may now be available to you. The Queen of Forces could also indicate the appearance of a possible love interest or an associate in business or in a creative project who has powerful influence and connections for you or for another. It may be someone you know or, some, or somebody new. But when this card appears, there is a tender yet powerful support. During this time, choose to support yourself as well. You hold the forces of the sun, creativity, and moon, receptivity. And only you, yourself, can direct the energy of your eternal life. Both came in the upright. Yeah, girl, own it. Yeah, man, own it. Sorry. Okay, great. I will see you guys in a second in your extended link below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the opportunity. I will see you in October 10th on our live Q&A. Uh, I will... Happy, happy Halloween. I will dress up for the November readings, okay? 
Um, uh, so I will see you in November, no matter what, in here. And I'll see you in the other placements readings. And I will see you in our private reading if you'll book one. Mwah! Bye for now.